Hello, hello, and good morning, and welcome to today's Styling Insights. I hope you're all having a marvelous morning or afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this beautiful part of the world. Now, today, I would like to talk to you all about are you uncomfortable in your home? So over the, the past many years that I've actually been working in interior decorating, I've created this um, uncomfortable to comfortable roadmap. And it's just the, the, the steps that I have found that my clients have actually been going through. Um, I think, oh, I'm not too sure. My, my clicker's just clicked over, so I'm not too sure whereabouts in um, the conversation that we've um, gone live, but I will start again just to make sure because my timer just only went off. But good morning and welcome to the Styling Insights for today. Um, I just want to chat to you about are you uncomfortable in your home? So over the last few years that I've actually been working in interior decorating and working with many clients and coaching clients as well about interior decorating and styling their homes, um, I've, I've actually created, um, it's called From Uncomfortable to Comfortable Roadmap. So it sort of is the different stages at where clients are at. So, um, or where you are at in your styling journey. So in the, um, so talking about the uncomfortable stage. So this is where you are uncomfortable to, you know, have people over in your home because you've got that feeling of um, embarrassment because your your um, home it sort of is a bit mismatch or you you've got the fear that you're going to be judged by you know people who come into your home. Um, and another thing is that. Our home is our sanctuary, so we should be creating our home to reflect who we are, our needs, wants and desires. And also, it's about creating our own unique interior um, style as well. So, you know, we do, we are our harshest critics, so we start comparing our homes to others as well. And there's no need for that because, our, like I say, our home is our sanctuary. What um, actually works for somebody else in their home and you love their home layout you love what they've got but it won't work in your home environment because obviously that's not meeting your needs wants and desires so we you know we've got to sort of move that mindset shift of um, being embarrassed about having people over we, we don't have um, social events at our home um, because you've got that feeling that you're going to be judged. So we've, we've just got to move that aside and just say, hey, this is my home. I love my home. And you welcome everybody into your home. Um, another one is that um, is also that clutter affects our emotions and mindset. So then we start to become overwhelmed. We're unable to let go and relax. We've sort of got that um, feeling that we've got to keep, you know, tidying. We've got to keep putting things away. And at the at the end of the day, we're just shifting um, items or whatever it might be from one side to another side or to a room to another room. So you know, by getting the clutter sorted out. Um, we actually are then able to let go and relax in our home environment. You're also out of alignment. You're, you don't feel, you don't sit well um, within yourself by, you know, having your home um, as it is. Um, another one is that you give up so easily because you feel that you can't, um, you know, get your home in order you, because you're, you're so overwhelmed. You don't know where to start. Um, <clears throat> you, there's all this, you know, your ego is talking to you about your, your negativities about your home environment when we're not looking about the whole overview and the positive things that we have in our home. So don't give up so easily. It might be so overwhelming and that's the part of the uncomfortable stage in the process to get too comfortable with your home. Uh, you don't know where to start. So you, you have, um, 
you have a vision of how you want your home to be styled but you don't know how to pull it together you um, you have a look around your home and you just feel that there isn't anything that's working for you so you know by sort of not being so hard on yourself and be happy in the present time with what you actually have in your home and how it's actually served you for the time being i know it's feeling uncomfortable in your home and that but it's all part of this process of uncomfortable to comfortable and reaching um at the end of the day or the process getting to that comfortable stage where you actually love your home you're so you don't want to leave your home so eventually you will get to that stage but you've just got to trust the process of going from the, the following the roadmap. So it, it will work and there are strategies of how you can um, go from each of these stages to have your desired home and style that you want. So that's when I come in and I'm able to help and assist you in actually putting your vision and making it into um, turning it into reality, turning it into fruition. So um, I'm an expert in this and that's where I come into play and I'm able to guide you and give you assistance on, on how to strategize creating your desired home. Um, because, you know, we do live in our homes every day, day in, day out, we go to work, we come home and we see what our, we're not happy with our home styling. Um, so it's it's about having that expertise come in, give you guidance on how you can turn your uncomfortable stage into your comfortable stage. So also just talking on that, I do have a, um, a webinar that's coming up tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, Queensland time. So we will pop the link um, for the registration into the comments below where we I, all I need is 30 minutes of your time and I will walk you through from the uncomfortable stage to the comfortable stage in the various um, stages of how and what you should be feeling, where you're at, what you should be doing and, and giving you a couple of strategies of how you can achieve that end goal. So I would love for you to uh, attend. Um, I think we've got about 26 um, RSVPs which is absolutely amazing but we would love some more so please um, make sure that you register for um, that event tomorrow night um, okay so the next thing is that you're feeling confused with no real home style either and this is all part of the uncomfortable stage um, you don't know what your interior style is everything feels mismatched now at the end of the day yes there are so many different interior styles out there and we may have one or two different style elements um, within our home, but like I say, it's about creating your own unique interior style and making um, your home environment um, give you those, those feelings that you wanna feel. So you wanna feel comfortable, you wanna feel relaxed, you wanna feel cozy, you wanna feel happy, all those kinds of feelings within your home. So, <clears throat> It's, it's also about honing in and sort of looking at what you've actually got in your home um, because there is going to be a style that you can sort of see. There's going to be a theme, whether it's going to be colours, it's going to be um, textures, it's going to be, um, you know, like your furnishing. Um, so it could be, say for example, you've got um, light colour timber furnishing and you've got light colour um color palettes in your home. So we're sort of gonna more look along the Scandinavian line for those. So don't be overwhelmed and don't overthink what your interior style is because it will eventually come to you and you will be able to see that there's some sort of um, theme happening throughout your home. Another thing is that um, there's no cohesion um, in your home, there's no flow. So um, this all comes down to actually just evaluating what you've got in your home space get a pen and paper right go from each room and write down right my bedroom 
this is the color timber this is the color palette in here then go to your living room and do the same and you will start seeing that there is some sort of cohesion but you feel that there isn't um, another thing is that you feel disconnected with your home so your home doesn't feel homely it feels more like a house instead of a home so we need to change that. It doesn't matter whether you're actually in a rental house, a rental apartment, you own your own home. It, at the end of the day, we can turn our house into a home by bringing in all these elements that um, reflect who we are and how we want our home to be designed. Um, you have no real connection with your home. so. You just there's no feeling whatsoever so it feels cold it, it's got no no warmth it's yeah so it's it's about bringing all these um, things that I've just talked about putting it all together and then working out and having a strategy how you can move forward to the next stage in your interior style journey because it doesn't matter where you are at in your interior style journey we all you know even now being an interior decorator i feel uncomfortable in my home why because i feel that things are mismatch at the moment because i'm more got um, i've got a couple of different um styles in my home so you know i've got electric i've got um what have i got i've got a bit of a farmhouse i've got um I've got a bit of Scandinavian so it's all bits and pieces and it's it did suit the way that I wanted my home back then but now I'm there thinking oh I'm going to have to start coming up with a particular style and because it becomes so overwhelming when you're looking at your home space and you think I'm not happy with this this is not working for me um, you know so it's about changing that thought as well to create that you are happy in your home space it has served me a purpose for this long um, it's just also about tweaking things you can move furniture around um, that also gives it a new lease on life you can um, you know bring a pop of color in into your living room there's so many different ways that we can turn your house into a home and have you feel comfortable in there so um i hope i just if any of these any of these points that i've actually discussed um resonate with you i'd love to hear it in the chat box um and let me know and also i'd love to offer a free 30 minute home style strategy call to who anyone who wants to sort of talk about um, what we've spoken about today feeling uncomfortable in your home that you've got no cohesion in your home you're you're feeling overwhelmed um, you're, you're embarrassed about your home let's change that today to make you feel comfortable in your home and you um, invite your friends over you know um, for a dinner party or you, you have a, a play date with your, your friend's children come over. We need to lose that fear of judgment because this is our home, this is our sanctuary, this is what keeps us safe, this is what keeps us together. So let's lose all that and move on to the next stage and take you there to the uncomfortable stage. So like I said, I have a webinar um, that is tomorrow from 7 p.m. Uh, Queensland time. It's a free webinar. Um, it's from uncomfortable to comfortable. So creating a home that you will love and we all deserve a home that we love. Uh, it doesn't matter, like I said, whether it's a rental property or it's our own home, we can turn it into our own home. Um, I do see that the uh, registration links in the chat box already. Thank you, Anissa, for that. So please come and register. We would love to see you there. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat box, pop them, um, send me a DM. I'd love to hear from you and help you work through your um, styling dilemma or move you from uncomfortable to comfortable in your home. Until then, we will see you next week with another Styling Insights. Be safe and uh, we will be back next week. Bye for now.